Thank you for joining me here for high school football tonight. Chattanooga Central Pounders taking on East Hamilton High School's Hurricanes. Gabriel Schreib bringing you all of the action. I appreciate you tuning in for this audio presentation of the game. You can watch the game on the NFHS network, but tonight's audio broadcast will be brought to you for free. I appreciate you joining us. Pounders have won the toss. They will get the football first here tonight. Kickoff going to be going from right to left on your radio dial. Means Ethan Hickson out there to send this one away. Hickson and the Canes lined up. He will send this one away, and we are underway here in Chattanooga. This one out of the back of the end zone for a touchback, and so the Pounders 
We'll get their first look at their offense here this evening. Founders offense out onto the field. Here we go. Snap taken. Quarterback rolling to the close side. Lots of pressure there, and he's not going anywhere. Dragged down by Divine. Tackle made quickly by the Canes, and they've got a man slow to rise here. Ranye Watson and the Pounders offense come over to the sideline and already a break in this one. We'll take a break as well. High school football coming back in just one second. Don't go anywhere. Hurricane man, looked like he might have just had a cramp. He is able to come off of the field there with little to no help. Second and 11 now here for the Purple Pounders. They're going to take another try. After their quarterback there, Ronnie Watson, strung out to the sideline and tackled on play number one of this drive. Here on the second, a fake rolling left, and he is dragged down deep behind the line of scrimmage here. Loss of a couple of yards, and now it'll be third and long for the Pounders. Band sounding good here tonight. Down deep in the scenic city. Three out wide on third and long. Two on the far side, one on the close side. Watson wants to throw the football. He's in trouble in the backfield, looking to the far side, this one is incomplete. He retreated from the line of scrimmage, which was just over the 15, all the way back to the five before throwing the football. This one went incomplete. Looks like there might be a flag down there as well. Indeed, there is. Well, they're saying it's a, a personal foul down on the field. That looked like a hold to me from the white cap there. Either way, it is going to be very long yardage situation here on fourth down. The football, about 25 yards from the line to gain here. The punter standing in the end zone. Snap is good. He gets this one away. Big high punt. Oh, and takes an unfriendly bounce for Chattanooga Central at the 30-yard line. It'll be down to around the 28-yard line. So East Hamilton will take over this first drive in prime position to score here. Hurricane offense has been nothing but electric so far this season. Now on first and 10, East Hamilton, they're on the close hash mark, moving from right to left on your radio dial. Here's the snap, a quick fake, and quarterback dragged down quickly. He got a pretty good gain right there. Went right up the gut, followed the center and the left guard. Got all the way down to just shy of the 20-yard line before he was stopped. Gain of maybe five, six yards. Now Wandrick Bullard with four out wide, two on either side here. 
for the Hurricane offense. Taking his time, working through his cadence. Wants to throw it. He's going to run with the football right up the gut. Follows the right guard. He has a lot of space and is gone. Touchdown, oh, East God. Hamilton High School. It's 6-0 here in Chattanooga. The Hurricanes with an early lead over the Pounders. What a play. So now Ethan Hickson in the PAT team, PAT unit on to try and chip this one through. Penalty against Chattanooga Central here on this point after try. 6 nothing as the Hurricanes punch one in early here. Snap is good. Hold is good. Here comes the kick from Hickson. This one is up, away, and through. It's 7-0 here in the scenic city as East Hamilton High School is taking on the Chattanooga Central Pounders. We'll take a break. Be right back with more high school football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. So now East Hamilton will kick this football back to the Pounders. Hickson sends this one away from the 40-yard line here. And this one will float off of the field and out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Chattanooga Central will take over offensively, working from left to right on your radio dial. They lead, or they trail rather, 7-0 here to East Hamilton High School. Ronye Watson leads that offense back out there. They struggled on that first drive. Here's the give right up inside for the Pounders, driving this down to the 25 there. Good push up front by the center and the two guards, but not a lot of space bought either way. Down Junior running back right there, Tristan Odom on the carry. Michael Hinton credited with the tackle. Now on second and medium, snap to Watson. He's in trouble on the edge, makes one man miss, now two up to the 30-yard line, tackled down at the 31. The football popped out. Watson Looks like the they'll say he was down right there. Watson, slow to rise, looks to be all right. They will say he was down. Bit of good luck right there for Watson early on in this one. So the football from the 20 all the way down to the 31. Back-to-back -back successful plays, a five-yard rushing play, then a six-yard gain by Watson. Now here's a give to the big tail back, and he's driving his way over the 40, nearly to the midfield stripe before being forced out right there. Perry Armour Jr., the senior. Gorgeous little play and a big-time gain. Chattanooga Central moves the football all the way down to their own 48-yard line. 
Bit of a high snap here, taken again by Armour Jr. He's trying to push his way up inside, and big pile up near that midfield line before it is driven backwards by the Hurricane defense. Football up to the 49-yard line on forward progress, a gain of about a yard there for the Purple Pounders. Three out wide, two on the close side for Chattanooga Central. Check down pass complete. A little bit of space for the receiver who is driven out of play by Hinton right there. That was Boykin. Houston Boykin, a sophomore, got a hold of the football, had two blockers out in front of him, took advantage, and is able to move the chains right there for Chattanooga Central. First and 10 down to the 40-yard line of East Hamilton High School now. They're on the close hash mark, working left to right on your radio dial. They trail 7-0 here. Here's the snap. Give to Armour Jr., that big tailback pushing his way up in there. Gets about four yards on first and ten. Football down to the 37-yard line now of the Hurricanes. Now on second down, Chattanooga Central. Three out wide, two on the far side. There's the fake. Oh, on the keeper, lots of space across the 30. Now the 20 running the spin move and dragged down near the 15-yard line. Yeah, Ranye Watson with a good carry, but a flag lying on the turf back around the 27. Looks to be in the area of holding. The officials will convene, and we'll see what the call is. White cap comes out, says this one is against the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. The Pounders piling it on here on their second offensive possession of the day, looking very sharp. Football down into the red zone for Chattanooga Central now. Three out wide, two on the far side. High snap, Watson scoops it back up in an incomplete pass there. That one skiffed off the turf before it was scooped up by his intended target, Larry Henderson. I'll tell you what, they've got a great stable of receiving talent, of, of skill players here on this offense for Chattanooga Central. Lots of flashy players making big things happen under the direction of Kurt Jones. Lots of fun to watch them play. Three out wide again. Ronye Watson has an up back in front of him. Fakes the give. He's going to keep it himself. Tries to run the spin move and drag down after a short gain right here. Chattanooga Central trailing 7 nothing here in quarter number one. It is third down and long. Chattanooga is deep into the red zone here, though. The football on the 15-yard line. Three out wide again, same formation. This time the give to Armour Jr. He barrels over a defender and is tripped up at the five-yard line. Outside linebacker able to pull him down right there. Hurricanes prevent the score, but David Cole just barely able to keep him out of the end zone. Now from the five. High snap again. Watson goes up, grabs this one. Two defenders chasing him, and he's trying to stretch the play out, and he'll find his way into the end zone. That is a Chattanooga Purple Pounder touchdown right there. So now it is seven to six in East Hamilton Hurricane lead here in quarter number one. And the Pounders will try for the PAT. Snap is good. Hold is good. Here comes the kick. This one is up, away, and this one is through. It's seven to seven here at Chattanooga Central High School between the Hurricanes and the Pounders. We'll take a break and be right back with more high school football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
So the Pounders will be kicking this one back to the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School now. They've tied the football game. It is 7-7 to here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thanks for being with us for this audio presentation of high school football. I'm Gabriel Fry on the call for tonight's game. We'll take a look at the schedule upcoming, remaining, and what this season has looked like for the East Hamilton High School Hurricanes in just a moment. Just a reminder, there is an NFHS video broadcast of this contest available as well. Hurricanes return man scoops this up at the 20, barrels across the 30, and is dragged down just over the 35. Looks like they're going to spot him near the 37-yard line to start this drive. Michael Hinton credited with a nice little return right there. Hillard and a, a swarm of defenders from Chattanooga Central able to drag him down. Bunched up the Hurricanes into a big formation up front. He had about six blockers right in front of him. They collided with that defense with a kick team and were able to buy him a few extra yards. Here comes Juan Bullard in the offense. It's first and 10. They're working from right to left on your radio dial. He'll give it off right up inside the gut there, trying to plow up in there behind the right guard and unable to buy any more space. It'll be second and 10 now for East Hamilton High School. All tied up 7-7 for anyone just joining us. Appreciate you tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Four out wide this time. Wondrick Bullard alone in the backfield. He's either going to throw it or run with it. It's a keeper. He follows the right tackle and can't get much yardage here. Officials going to give him about four yards. That'll make it third and manageable for East Hamilton High School. Four out wide here on third and six. Wandrick Bullard lined up on the far hash mark here. He's going to keep it. Coming to the close side after bouncing off of a defender, stringing up along the sideline there and pushed out into the bench. Kyrie Stewart caught up to him and pushed him into the Chattanooga Central bench. East Hamilton will send out Ethan Hickson and their punt team and kick this one back to Chattanooga Central here. So nothing doing there. One man didn't make it out, running onto the field late here to join up with the punt team. The snap will come from the 37. The punter is standing back on the 27. Hickson gets this one away. It's a good-looking punt. And as you can hear, the, the, uh, the official sounding the whistle. So Chattanooga Central, due to the penalty here, personal foul against East Hamilton High School will take over with the football on the 24-yard line of East Hamilton High School. You want to talk about advantageous field position. Three out wide, two on the close side for the Pounders. They're working left to right on your radio dial. Ranye Watson in the shotgun. There's the give to Armour Jr. Big man is wrapped and dropped right near the line of scrimmage right there. Tried to push up in there, get some extra space. Met by a pair of defenders. Dylan Nichols kind of arm tackled him and then got some help from Hinton. Three out wide again, same formation here on second down for Chattanooga Central. Just 24 yards from the end zone. Ranye Watson gives it off and trouble this time for Armour Jr. My goodness, three defenders come screaming into the backfield. Nichols was the first one to him again. Logan Carmona also got in there, got a piece of the action, and helped out by Zane Liffick. 
Big time tackle. That makes it third and long, about 13 yards to gain to move the sticks here. Similar formation, but they've flipped it and brought in an additional tailback. Ronye Watson wants to throw the football. He's going to uncork one to the far side, and it's incomplete. Tipped away by the defensive back of East Hamilton High School right there. That'll make it fourth and long for the Pounders. Big-time defensive play by the Hurricanes right there, getting a hand in there and swatting that one down to the turf. Devin Harrelson credited with a play. He is a big-time two-way player. Great grabbing up the football and running with it down the field. Excellent on defense as well. Chattanooga Central going to go for it here on fourth and long. Fourth and 12. Ranye Watson on the field. Four out wide, two on either side. Football on the close hash mark. They'll be working from left to right on your radio dial. And now, just before Watson can get the snap off, Going to be a delay of game against Chattanooga Central right there. Five-yard penalty. Two on either side for Watson. Looks both ways. Here's the snap. Wants to throw this one. A laser to the close side. It's intercepted. East Hamilton High School. It's Devin Harrelson again. Creating the turnover just in front of the goal line. It'll be first and 10 for the Hurricanes from the two-yard line now. They'll have to go 98 yards if they want to score on this offensive possession, but that was a big-time play. And that's kind of what you expect out of a Grant Reynolds-caliber defense. You know, he is well-known throughout the state of Tennessee for directing some of the finest defenses in all of the state of Tennessee and High school football across America. That's what you expect out of a defense like that. They're pinned back, horrible field position to start the drive. They make a couple of big plays and get the football back. Now Chattanooga Central has a chance to grind down this offense and create a turnover. 98 yards they'll have to go. From the shadows of their own goalpost, the give on the end around. Hurricane Man is tackled right near the goal line right there in danger of a safety. Tristan Odom made the tackle for Chattanooga Central. Hurricanes, now it's about second and 16 to go. Wandrick Bullard getting the play call in from the sideline here. We're all tied up. It's 7-7 seven to seven here between East Hamilton High School and Chattanooga Central High School. Four out wide for Juan Bullard, and now some flinching up there on the line of scrimmage before Bullard can take the snap. Well, that's a bit of good luck for East Hamilton High School right there. You know they'll take that. Encroachment, the call against Chattanooga Central. That extra five yards is going to help them out. They go from inside of the one-yard line down to about the six. Bullard looking to the sideline for a play call here. Two on either side for him, four out wide. Pressure going to be coming from the close side. He needs to throw it quickly. Here's a rainbow pass to the close sideline. Two players go up for the football right there, and somehow David Cole comes down with that one. Wow. Well, he's been getting recruited heavily. Colgate just made him an offer a couple of days ago. Army West Point has already made him an official offer, and that is why big-time catches like that. He was double-covered on the back end, and Cole able to grab that one and hang on to it to move the chains. Now it's first and 10 for East Hamilton High School. The football goes from their own six-yard line down to the 39-yard line. 33-yard gain on the pass play. Wandrick Bullard takes the snap. He's in trouble here, tries to bounce it outside and is pushed out right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and 10 for East Hamilton High School. Good play defensively. Ranye Watson, the quarterback of the Pounders, who plays two ways, 
able to string him out and force him out of bounds right there. 7-7, seven to seven, the tally here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, between the Pounders and East Hamilton High School. Just a reminder, if you do have an NFHS subscription, tonight's game is available. You can watch the video feed of the contest on the NFHS network. Highly recommend muting the NFHS network and turning me up. Here's the snap, trying to give it off in a flag before the Hurricanes can run this play. Yeah, and that one's going against East Hamilton High School, as you heard right there. False start, the call. Little jump up front from the offensive line. East Hamilton going to try again, this time from their own 35-yard line. They're working right to left on your radio dial. Two on either side. Wandrick Bullard has a tailback at his side. Rawls goes into motion. Bullard fakes the give to him. He's going to keep it. Follows the right tackle. Has a little bit of space across the 45. The opposing 45. The 35. Three defenders trailing him and force him out of play. All the way down to the 10-yard line of Chattanooga Central. What a big-time play by Wanrick Bullard right there. East Hamilton High School threatening to score now. After starting with a football on their own two yard line, four out wide for the Canes. Football down on the seven here. Wandrick Bullard going to keep it again. This time, runs over a defensive lineman, gets the football. Down to the three right there, tackled by a gaggle of pounders. Second and goal to go as the play call will come in here for the East Hamilton High School offense. Four out wide this time. It's trips left for the Hurricanes. Bullard fakes the give. He's going to keep it again. Boy, competing to try and get into the end zone. He's down to the two at least. Right between the two-yard line and the one-yard line, he'll be stopped. Forward progress, though, putting him very close to scoring the football. It's going to be third and goal for East Hamilton High School here. They're lined up on the far hash mark, running the power set. One receiver out far wide. Oh, Bullard almost drops the football on the snap, pushes his way up in there. His teammates are saying that's a touchdown. Now the Pounders say they have the football. Oh, a bit of confusion down here on the field. It looks like Chattanooga Central might have come away with the football. By the way, the Hurricanes reacted. And indeed, they're going to let that one stand. Chattanooga Central somehow... Stripped away the football before Wanderick Bullard could cross the plane. I think he thought he had a touchdown and let it go. So it goes from being third and goal from the one for East Hamilton High School. Now they're back on defense. And the Pounders are threatening to score. They carried that about 70 yards down the field. They're all the way down to the 27-yard line of East Hamilton High School on the far hash mark. That's a big-time turnover right there. It also means the score remains tied at 7 here at Chattanooga Central High School. Three out wide again, two on the close side, two tailbacks alongside Ranye Watson. Watson will give it off to the big man. He's trying to truck his way up inside. Successfully gains about three yards there on first and 10. Football now down to the Hurricanes 24. You know, I keep a drive chart of what's happened throughout the contest. It's hard to keep it updated without an analyst. Uh, you got a lot of airtime to fill when you're doing radio broadcasting. It's very hard to keep it updated 
beyond the scoring plays, and I don't even know what to write down. That's going to do it for our first quarter of action. All tied up at 7 here between East Hamilton High School and the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more high school football. I feel like I'm at the top of my game, looking down at the rafters. All the sun, these boys can't leave them bastards. Welcome back here. More high school football about to get underway. Quarter number two coming right up. Between East Hamilton High School and Chattanooga Central High School, the Pounders and the Hurricanes, it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Fantastic contest so far to this point. Let's take a look back. Quickly on the schedule of East Hamilton High School first, open their season with a 52-21 win over Udawa, then a loss to Heritage, which looked like it might kind of set their season down the wrong path, and they bounced back very well with a 38-0 win over Eastridge, then a 48-6 win at home over Sequoia out of Madisonville. Last week, a loss on the road at McMinn County up in Athens. That was a 29-20 game they dropped and kind of a weird momentum game. They're trying to get back in the winning column this week here against Chattanooga Central down inside of the scenic city and on the road for the Canes. Let's take a look at the schedule of the Pounders really quickly as well. They're standing at 3-3 three and three on the year, so one more loss than the Hurricanes, and they have one of those losses in district. The Hurricanes were undefeated 2-0 and in district play. A win over Campbell County to open the season for the Pounders, 35-21. Then Franklin County, a 47-14 loss. That was back on the 26th of August. Then a win over Saudi Daisy and Hickson back-to-back, 26-6 and 34-16 respectively. Now a two-game skid for the Pounders. First to Red Bank, 33-7. Then to Clinton, 51-21. So 2-1 and one in district play. 3-3 three and three overall are the Pounders. And the Hurricanes are standing at 3-2 and two overall and 2-0 and oh in district play. We'll take a look at their schedule for the remainder of the season here in just a moment. About to get back underway here with quarter number two from Chattanooga Central High School. Again, it is 7-7 seven to seven here. Thank you for joining us for this audio presentation of tonight's game. If you have an NFHS network pass, I can't recommend enough. Don't mute me. Don't turn me off. Open up the game in another tab and sync up the audio so you can have an announcer. Chattanooga Central. Takes the snap. Watson is in trouble, trying to escape. Checks this one down, and it's incomplete, deflected away by Devin Harrelson. Good-looking pass right there, and, and I think the receiver was open. Well, he would have been, but Odom just kind of got snuck up there on from behind by Devin Harrelson. Harrelson kind of saw that play coming from his position back on the back end. Came across the field and was able to tip that one away and break it up. I'm sure he looked open to Watson, and I'm sure he felt open. Going to try again here on second down. Watson is in trouble. Check down pass to the close side. A big hit. The football is loose. Hurricane man scoops it up. They're going to say it was an incomplete pass. Michael Hinton was right on top of that one there. Pass went in and out of the hands of his target right there, Larry Henderson. That'll make it third and long for the Pounders. That's going to make it fourth and long, rather. Excuse me. (laughs) 
And looks like Chattanooga Central not sure what they want to do with the football here. They're going to take a timeout down on the field. We're not going to go anywhere, though. We're going to keep it right here. More high school football action. We're going to talk about the upcoming schedule of these two programs and what you can expect for the rest of the season. Let's get started with what to expect for East Hamilton High School. Next week, they're going to play Saudi Daisy. That's a road contest. Then they're going to close with three straight home games up on Hurricane Hill. First, they'll host Friendship Christian on October 14th. Then on the 21st, hosting Red Bank and the Lions. And finally, on the 28th, they'll host Hickson High School. So not exactly an easy way to close the season, but for the Hurricanes, at least, they're going to be at home. We'll cover the Pounders schedule in just a moment as they're going to go ahead and change this from an offensive attempt to a field goal try. Here we go. Snap is good. Hold is good. This one from long range and did not have the leg on that one. It is going to be incomplete there. It'll remain 7-7 seven to seven here at Chattanooga Central High School. Wow. Back and forth they go, and a, a fun contest here so far tonight. So before we get back on offense with the Hurricanes, let's go ahead and take a look at the remaining schedule for the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. So as I mentioned, they're 3-3 three and three on the season so far, 2-1 and one in district play, losing to Red Bank. Clinton last week they lost. Upcoming, they're going to battle Sequoia. That one's a home game, so they'll stay inside of Chattanooga. Then Eastridge, they'll go on the road for that one. And finally, they'll host Liberty Creek out of Gallatin. So a great way to close the season here. And a rushing play right there for the Hurricanes. Right up inside, and they lost the football on the first play on offense. Chattanooga Central is going to get this one right back. What a play defensively by the Pounders, able to get a hand in there between the football and the arm of the ball carrier and rip that away from the tailback of the Hurricanes. So it goes from being first and 10, and on their first play of the drive, their first play offensively here, they lose this one right back to Chattanooga Central. Their offense out onto the field, two out wide for Ronye Watson. He gives it to Armour Jr. Jr. runs the spin move right at the 20 and goes down at the 19-yard line. Gain of two, maybe maybe three, probably two yards right there. It takes the Pounders into the red zone. Makes it second and about eight yards. They're all tied up seven to seven here. Two out wide for Chattanooga Central. Here's the snap. Watson fakes the give. He's going to keep it. Tries to follow the right guard and center, and not a whole lot doing right there. Not going anywhere with that one. Maybe got back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a couple of feet. He's between the 17 and 18-yard line here. It's third down now for Chattanooga Central. Here in quarter two between the Pounders and the Hurricanes. Two out wide for Watson from the close hash mark, working from right to left on your radio dial. He'll take the snap, gives it off to Armour Jr. He's not going anywhere. Dragged down by a pair of Hurricane defenders right there. Harrelson chased him down from the backside. I think Carmona might have grabbed him. It was either Carmona or Zargoza for the Hurricanes that got him on the front end. That makes it fourth down for Chattanooga Central. Now, just a moment ago on fourth down, they missed that field goal. Of course, it worked out for them. They got the football right back. Here it's looking like a three and out. We'll see what they do. Here comes the kicking unit. There's the snap. Hold is good. This one sent up away, and this one will go through for Chattanooga Central. So it is now 10-7 to 7 between the Pounders 
and the Hurricanes. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back with more high school football. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here. High school football underway. Thank you for joining us for this audio presentation of this contest between Chattanooga Central High School's Purple Pounders and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. It's 10 to 7, Chattanooga Central leading here in quarter two. Kickoff is away, received by the return man back on the 14 yard line. Hinton unable to escape a flurry of defenders and is dragged down at the 23 of East Hamilton High School. So Wondrick Bullard and the offense of the Hurricanes will take to the field here. We'll see what they can do. They've been very efficient here so far today. Excited to see if we can get a bit of a slugfest going. I love a high scoring game. First and 10, here comes the offense of East Hamilton High School. Their lone touchdown came early in this one, a 22-yard rushing score by Wandrick Bullard on the keeper. Four out wide for him, high snap. He grabs it, follows the right tackle, has a seam across the 30 and dragged down at the 33-yard line. That should move the chains for East Hamilton High School. Tackle made in conjunction there by a pair of defenders, Kyrie Stewart and Ronye Watson. Able to pull down the Hurricanes man. Second down, Hurricanes. They're calling it second down. He is right near the line to gain right there. Maybe a foot to get that first yard. Trips left for Juan Bullard. One man on the close side. Tailback alongside Bullard here. Play call comes in for the Hurricane offense. They maintain that formation. He's going to keep it again, following the center and left guard and able to push up in there to move those chains. It'll be first and 10 for East Hamilton High School. Moses Duckett, the senior linebacker, was standing there waiting to greet him as he pushed through, pulled him down to the turf. It's first and 10 now. They're on the close hash mark. 10-7, Chattanooga Central lead. They're driving left to right on your radio dial. Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School have the football. It's on the 36-yard line of their own side of the field. They need to go about 70, 70 yards, 67 yards here. Here's the give up inside. Tailback, stiff arms, one man dragged down as he crosses over the 40 to the 42. Nice little carry right there by Michael Hinton. He makes a good gain there. For the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Looks like that carry was made by Javon Bullard, not by Hinton, excuse me. Mid-yardage situation here. Football now from the 42-yard line. Four out wide again for Wandrick Bullard. Sends Rawls into motion. Gives it off to him on the end around. He's in trouble. Oh, two defenders right there. He goes down hard. Deep in the backfield, big-time defensive play for Chattanooga Central. Loss of about seven, maybe eight yards there. Third and about 12 to go for East Hamilton High School. Four out wide again, two on either side. Play call coming in to Wandrick Bullard here. He's talking to the tailback. They're on the far hash mark now. Snap is high. He wants to throw the football. Here is a rainbow ball down the far sideline. 
competing for this one, and it is swatted away by the defensive back. That'll make it fourth and long for East Hamilton High School. There is a flag on the field down at the 49-yard line of Chattanooga Central. Could be defensive pass interference here. And indeed, that will be the call. East Hamilton High School offense catching a big-time break right there. I didn't even see the pass interference watching that play in real time. The officials will spot this now at the 49-yard line of East Hamilton High School. So on the close side of the midfield stripe, it'll be first and 10. They're driving left to right on your radio dial. They trail by three, 10 to seven. Chattanooga Central holding that slim lead after chipping through a field goal. Or out wide, two on either side. Wandrick Bullard on the keeper. Boy, he's barreling up in there. Had a lot of space and stopped at the 40-yard line of Chattanooga Central. Immediately a flag comes to the field. Kyrie Stewart, the one who made the tackle. We're waiting to see what the call is here from the official. I might let the public address announcer handle this one. Signals for a holding call right here. So that'll move East Hamilton High School back from the spot of the foul to their own 40-yard line. Timeout taken down on the field by Chattanooga Central. We'll take a timeout as well. Be right back with more high school football. Don't go anywhere, and thank you for being with us for this one between the Pounders and the Hurricanes. Following the timeout, both programs returning to the field here. Hurricanes offense is ready to get back to work. Standing across from the pounder defense here. Four up wide, two on either side for East Hamilton. Bullard is in trouble. Two defenders right there, and he is sacked. A five-yard loss after that big penalty. They'll drag him back even further here. Hurricanes need about 23 yards if they want to move the sticks. They trail 10 to 7. They're going left to right on your radio dial. Four out wide again. Two on either side for Wandrick Bullard. Football down on the 37 yard line of the Hurricanes. He checks it down, far side, couple of blockers in front of his man. The screen gets East Hamilton maybe 9, 10 yards back. They're right near where the ball was originally spotted here when it was first and 10 on the 49-yard line of their own side of the field. Football on the far hash mark, third and about 10 to go for East Hamilton High School. Four out wide, trips right for Wandrick Bullard. That's the close side of the field. Bullard running with a football. He's in trouble. Stiff arms a man across the midfield stripe. The 45, the 40, and that'll move the chains. What a playmaker Wandrick Bullard is. He is just electric with a football. First and 10, East Hamilton High School 
here at Chattanooga Central. They trail 10 to 7. Trips left this time for East Hamilton High School. Football on the close hash mark now. The snap from the 38. There's the give up inside. Hinton barrels over a couple of defenders. Boy, that's a nice gain. Followed the center and the guard. Got about six yards right there. Maybe five. Maybe six is dramatic. Looks like they're going to spot him at the 34-yard line. That's a good carry. And a good play defensively there. A.J. Copeland got up inside, made the tackle. Put pads on the tailback. Four out wide here in the mid-yarded situation. That's two on either side. Wandrick Bullard hitting at his side, wants to throw it. He's going to keep it, and he's in trouble immediately. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, tried to follow the center and the left guard up in there. He was wrapped up by a defender inside. Public address announcer saying Copeland made that tackle. Looked like Henderson was in there to me. Got hands on him. The big man grabbed him as he tried to run by the guard. Four out wide again here. Wandrick Boward, play call is in. Tailback at his side. He has two on either side. Snaps a bit high. He's able to hang on to it. Running with a football and dragged down as he crosses over the 30. He's on about the 29, and it looks like he's shy of the line to gain as well. Maybe needed another yard, half a yard to move the sticks. Makes it fourth and short. Hurricanes need to get about a half a yard here on fourth down. They're going to go for it. Same formation, two out wide on either side. Bullard in the shotgun, tailback alongside him, and I don't think the Pounders know they're going to take a timeout. They aren't ready for this play. They'll take the timeout here in quarter number two. It's 10-7, Chattanooga Central lead. We'll take a short break. Don't go anywhere. It's high school football. When you run it out of luck, need to get on stocks of golf. When you run up against the wall and you get on stocks of golf. Okay, we're about to see this attempt here on fourth and short. For East Hamilton High School, two on either side. Same formation here for Wandrick Bullard. He's going to keep it following the left guard and barrels his way up there. Tried to knife his way forward, needed just a yard. The officials got him on the 27. That looks like he's good to go. Waiting for the spot here. Both head coaches standing out on the field. That is very close. I think they're going to measure this one. My goodness, they're going to measure this one. Tackle made on Wandrick Bullard by Moses Duckett, the big linebacker. Met him up inside of the gap there. Here comes the chain gang to measure this one. It's 10-7, to Chattanooga's central lead. That is very close. And the official says the Hurricanes got it. By just the nose of the football, it'll be first and 10 for East Hamilton High School. Ronye Watson and the Pounders defense going to stay out there. Anyone just joining us? It is... 10-7 right now. Chattanooga Central leading East Hamilton High School. The Hurricanes have the football 
throw on the close hash mark, driving left to right. Football is inside of the 30 of Chattanooga Central. Give inside, tailback takes a big time shot right there. Tackle made by Tyron Forte, the junior. Brought the Hurricanes man down hard. Kane's getting all kinds of changes here offensively. Some fresh new legs onto the turf. Wandrick Bullard going to take this snap. Football from the 28-yard line. Second down now for the Hurricanes. Wanted to give it off to Rawls, and the whistle sounds before they can run this play. That's going to be a false start against the offense of East Hamilton High School. They'll move him back a few and try again here on second down. So after a five-yard penalty, Hurricanes, very similar formation here. Second at about 15, two on either side. Bullard and Liffick looking over to the sideline from the backfield here. Snap is high. Bullard wrangles it. Check down pass. This one is incomplete in and out of the hands of his intended receiver there. Third down and long for East Hamilton High School. They need about 15 yards to move the chains and keep this drive alive. They trail by just three, 10 to seven to Chattanooga Central. Four out wide, two on either side for Bullard. He's in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Needs about 15 yards. Wants to throw with this one, and he's in trouble. Far side. This one is incomplete. And a lot of contact between the receiver and a pair of defenders. The flag comes out for this one. Looking very chippy there. Juan Bullard just went ahead and threw that one up towards the big man. He didn't catch the football, but that flag might be just as good for him and the Hurricanes. Indeed, that's going to be a personal foul on the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. It's high school football. Emotions run high. It's a full contact sport. It's going to happen. So the Hurricanes, the beneficiary of another generous penalty right here. This will move the football from about the 28-yard line down to about the 22, 23 maybe. That also makes it first and 10 for East Hamilton High School, and they've entered the red zone. Trips left for Bullard. He's going to give it off inside to Liffick, who is trying to knife his way up in there. Not much doing. He does cross over. The 15, they'll make it second and medium for the Hurricanes. East Hamilton trailing 10 to 7 to Chattanooga Central here. Football on the far hash mark. Going left to right on your radio dial. Four out wide for Bullard. He's going to keep it this time. Tries to follow the guards and center up inside and just too much power in the defensive line of the Pounders. They're giving him good forward progress there, a gain of a yard. And there is another timeout taken down on the field between these two programs. So as they take a timeout, we will as well. It's high school football, and the Pounders are leading 10-7 to over East Hamilton High School. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, 
So the Hurricane offense has come back out onto the field here. Pounders are satisfied with the timeout as well, and we'll get back underway. 10-7, Chattanooga Central lead. Hurricanes are currently threatening to get one back here. Four out wide, rolls in motion from the far side. Oh, here's one lofted to the back of the end zone. That has to be a flag, and it will be dragged down hard in the corner right there. The defensive back hooked his arms underneath the arms of the receiver and pulled him down with him. Pass interference going to be the call here, no doubt about it. Indeed, this one going against Chattanooga Central. Now, because of the proximity to the goal line, I'm not sure if that's a half the distance to the goal line call at the high school level. We'll see here in just a moment. The officials trying to sort this one out. Indeed, it will be. Trips right this time for Wandrick Bullard. One man on the far side, it's Cole. Here's the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Tries to follow the left tackle. Goes from the seven-yard line down to the five. First and goal for East Hamilton High School here. Tackle made by Kyrie Stewart, the senior. And another timeout taken down on the field. We'll keep it right here. 10-7 the score. Chattanooga Central leads. Hurricanes threatening to punch this one in here late in quarter two. Football on the far hash mark as the Hurricanes are working left to right on your radio dial. From the six of Chattanooga Central. Second and goal here after they couldn't, couldn't get anything done there on first and goal. Wandrick Bullard looking good here today, trying to use all the weapons he's got around him offensively. Both teams the beneficiaries of a bit of good luck. A couple of penalties have gone the ways of either team. A couple of turnovers have been very fortunate for both programs. They're hoping that good luck will continue. Both teams are saying, hey, we could use a little more of that luck. The Pounders break their huddle, and they'll go back out to defend against the Hurricanes. We're already back in formation. Second and goal for East Hamilton High School. Three out wide. Four out wide. Trips right for Wandrick Bullard. Zachariah Labou out there as well. Rawls and Harrelson on the close side. Cole on the far side. Bullard in the shotgun, takes the snap. He's in trouble in the backfield, throws the stiff arm and pulled down by his jersey along the far sideline. That'll make it third and goal here for East Hamilton High School. We might have a player slow to rise here. Hopefully he's all right. They're going to check on him, and the teams are going to take a break. So we'll take a break as well. Don't go anywhere. It's high school football. We'll be back in just a moment. It's 10 7, Chattanooga Central. <laughs>
looks to be all right. He's up and off of the field here. So we'll get back underway. The Hurricane's going to go ahead and try and tie this with a field goal here. Fourth and goal to go situation for the Canes. Ethan Hicks and the place kicker on. Snap is good. Hold is good. This one is up, away, and through. It's 10-10 to 10 here at Chattanooga Central High School as Hickson boots this one through and ties the game between the Pounders and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Ethan Hickson, great place kicker for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. He's been a lot of fun to watch as he has improved. Saw him on Twitter all summer, tagging the football team account. Going to camps, you love to see it. Ranye Watson back deep in the center of the field to receive this kickoff from the Hurricane Kick team, let out, of course, by Ethan Hickson, who just chipped that one through. Hurricane's going to send this one from left to right on your radio dial. Gathered back near the goal line. Watson has a seam and tripped up and dropped. Boy, went across the 30, and I thought he might be able to break away there. Tried to cut towards the far sideline in the bench of the Hurricanes. He was stopped up by a pair of defenders just shy of the 40-yard line. So pretty good return there. Got a lot of extra yardage for his offense as he'll take to the field here. They'll be working from right to left this time. Football in the far hash mark at the 39. Two on wide on either side for Watson. He wants to throw the football. Two defenders after him in the backfield. He's in trouble. Lofts this one away and out of play for the incomplete pass. A flag down there. They might be signaling intentional grounding against him. It wasn't near any receivers of Chattanooga Central. It would be second and 10 if they wave the flag off. That will be the call here against Chattanooga Central, so they'll march him back a couple of yards and try that one again. They'll need to gain 15 now if they want to move the chains. And Watson elects to just take a knee and run the clock here on half number one between the Purple Pounders of Chattanooga Central and East Hamilton High School. Two quarters are in the books. It is 10-10 to 10 between the Pounders of Chad Central and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. What a contest so far. I'll talk about all the scoring when we come back from our halftime break and have the final two quarters of action here for you in our broadcast of today's game. What a fun one this has been. Don't go anywhere. I'm Gabriel Shrine. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. We are at the half here on our contest between Chattanooga Central's Pounders and East Hamilton High School's Hurricanes. Scoring open early with a 22-yard rush into the end zone by Wanderick Bullard. He made it 7-0 early on in quarter one. East Hamilton had taken over at the 28-yard line of the Pounders' side of the field. They were able to take advantage. Then a response on an 80-yard drive. Ronye Watson was able to punch in the football at the end of that one to tie up the football game 7-7. Seven to seven. Finally, uh, a couple of turnovers and a lot of back and forth, a bit of a slugfest between the Canes and the Pounders, and a field goal came after a fumble. East Hamilton, it was fourth and short. 
Football hit the turf. Pounders got it back. Looked like they were going to go three and out. They were able to chip in a field goal. They missed their first from about the exact same spot and then chipped through the second one. That made it 10 to 7. East Hamilton got the football back and they drove down the field in what seemed like a very long drive. Most of that second quarter, they had the football on one drive. And finally, at the end of it, Ethan Hickson booted it through to tie the football game up at 10. And that's where we stand at the halftime break, 10 to 10, between the Hurricanes and the Pounders. Right now, they're both back on the turf, warming up, getting ready for half number two. And before we get into the second half of action here, let's take a look at some of the scores from around the area. So Bremen is trailing to Ringold in the second quarter. It's 14-7. Suwanchi County leading community, 13-0. Lookout Valley leading Cooper Basin, 14-6. Copper Basin, rather, excuse me. York Institute up 27-6 over Wartburg Central. Murrillville and Cleveland are tied entering quarter number three. They're tied at 14. Meigs County leading Polk County, 6-0. McMinn Central leading. No, they're tied with Kingston at the half, 7-7. Seven to seven. McCauley is leading Baylor in quarter two, 14-3. You can watch that one on the CW, Friday Night Rivals. Chris Goforth on the call. Walker Valley and Ray County meeting head on there in quarter two. It's 14-12, Ray County lead. North Murray leading Murray County, 42 to nothing right now. They're in quarter number three. That's about it. Hickson and Red Bank are meeting tonight. They're in quarter two, about to be in the halftime break. 14 to seven, Red Bank lead in that one. That's all I got for you at half as far as scoring updates go. And again, it's 10 to 10 here in our game between Chattanooga Central's Pounders and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. I'm Gabriel Shry. Thanks for being with me. I'll step aside one more time. I know that was a long halftime break. They've got some festivities going down on the field. They're warming up right now, so I'll be back in just a moment, and we'll get started with the second half of action. Don't go anywhere. Officials are back onto the field. Both programs are making their way to the respective sidelines. The Pounders and the Hurricanes about to get underway with quarter number three. It is 10 to 10 here at Chattanooga Central. Thank you again for joining us here for today's presentation of high school football. Both programs making their way out onto the field here. Kick return team out for East Hamilton. The Pounders will send this to the Hurricanes to start quarter three. Pounders will kick this from left to right on your radio dial. Thank you. 
Official doesn't like something about the way the kick team is set up. Looks like he got it fixed here, and we'll get back underway. Pounders will send this one away. Fielded back on the 10. Hurricane return man following a crowd up over the 20. Now down to the 30. He'll be caught up and pulled down there. Nice pick up on the return by that East Hamilton High School return team. Now we'll get another look at what this Pounders defense can do here. They've been very effective against an excellent East Hamilton Hurricane offense so far tonight. Their other best defensive performances, really their best defensive performance by far was against Saudi Daisy, who they held to six. So far, just 10 points allowed here tonight against the Hurricanes. Here's the snap. Give up inside. Nothing doing for the East Hamilton High School tailback. He stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Hurricanes driving from right to left on your radio dial on this drive. They're on the far hash mark right now. Football is spotted at the 32-yard line. Four out wide for Wandrick Bullard. Bullard has a tail back at his side. Two receivers on either side. Jake rolls in the slot on the close side. Wants to throw. Oh, he's in trouble in the backfield and sacked right away. Big defensive lineman got back there. He might have been untouched and pulled down Wanderick Bullard. That'll make it third and long for East Hamilton High School. The original line of scrimmage on this drive was at around the 32-yard line. The football is back and around the... And they just moved it on me. They're putting it at the 24. Third and about 16 to go for East Hamilton High School. Bullard will take the snap. He's in trouble again. Escapes one. Now two. Trying to get away in the backfield. And... He's going to be taken down. Nothing doing right there. Ran in a horseshoe shape. Cut towards his own sideline on the far side of the field. Ran in a big U and tried to cut up the close sideline. He was pushed out of play. He maybe did get a yard on that. And a flurry of defenders in pursuit. Shedded three separate tackles. Throughout the course of that, two final defenders able to get him to step out of play. So now Ethan Hickson on to punt this one away. Snap is good, and that is a gorgeous punt right there. Oh, the ball is muffed on the reception there of the return. Return man gets it back, but he's dragged down hard. Right near where he scooped that up, Ronnie Watson able to maintain possession. So this drive will start for the Pounders. Chattanooga Central at the 44-yard line. First and 10 here, Ronye Watson in the shotgun. Trips left for him, one man on the close side. He gives it off, tail back, headed to the far side, throws a stiff arm and drag down, does get a nice three-yard gain right there, able to stick his head up in there. Marquise High, the junior, letting it spin right there. Second and about seven here for Chattanooga Central's offense. Now 
Now on second down, coming to the close side. Following that right tackle and some space here for the receiver. Got about four yards. Little shovel pass there made by Ronye Watson. Hooked up with Houston Boykin. Boykin tried to stretch that play out, came towards the sideline. Got to gain about five, maybe six yards. That makes it third and short. The football is just over the midfield stripe on the 48-yard line of East Hamilton High School. They're on the close hash mark, driving left to right. Ronye Watson in the shotgun, gives it off to the deep back. He's going to bowl through up in there for the first down. Got about five yards. He needed two. First and ten, Chattanooga Central. All tied up, 10 to 10. Pounders looking good here. Here's another give up inside, this time to the big man. Trying to churn some yardage out up in there. Nothing doing for Armour Jr. Now second down. Ronye Watson takes the snap. He's going to keep it. Heads to the far side. Nothing doing there. Tried to follow the edge of the left tackle up to buy some space. He was trapped and dropped. So Chattanooga Central going to need about 10 yards if they want to convert here. The football is on the 43-yard line of East Hamilton High School. Chattanooga lined up on the far hash mark. It's all tied up, 10 to 10. Ronye Watson takes the snap, drops back deep in the pocket, wants to throw. Pressure coming, three defenders right there, and just throws this one away for the incompletion. He got flagged earlier for intentional grounding. Looks like they'll let him get away with it here, and that's probably the right call. Makes the safe play. Avoids all, all five of those East Hamilton High School defenders. Tosses that one up into the bench, and that'll be an incomplete pass. Chattanooga Central looks to be sending out their punt team now. They'll kick this one back to the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. Tell you what, close football game here between these two teams today. Lots of fun. This one takes a pounder friendly bounce just inside of the 10 yard line, and it'll be downed in the shadows of the East Hamilton High School goal post. They'll have to drive about 95 yards if they want to score on this one. Not that they haven't done just about that already here today. Very impressive offensive performance for both programs. Plagued both ways by a couple of penalties, a couple of errors throughout the course of this contest, and that's why we haven't seen more scoring. The offense of East Hamilton High School takes the field here. They'll drive from right to left. Trips left. For Wandrick Boward, that's the close side of the field. Here's the snap. Bullard going to run with the football to the far side and gets a short gain right there. Followed the right tackle and a receiver. Tried to string it out up towards the sideline. Gain of a couple there on first down. Going to make it much more manageable here on second down. Four out wide for Bullard this time. Two on either side. Tail back alongside him. He's in the shotgun. Snaps a little high. He's following the center and the guard. Just barrels his way up in there. 
pushes the pile forward. He'll get another good gain right here, or maybe four yards this time. That's going to make it third and three. That's a long three. They're on the far hash mark, driving right to left. Third down, looking to convert here. Bullard runs the hurry up. Play call coming in from the sideline. Two on either side for Wandrick Bullard. Here's the snap. He fakes to give, trying to follow the right tackle. Slips away from one defender and dragged down. Boy, that is right near the line to gain. I think they're going to give it to him. Indeed, they are just beyond the line to gain. That'll move the sticks for East Hamilton High School. It's first and ten. Pounders getting a quick change here defensively. Sending in a new end on the far side. And timeout. Excuse me, that is a penalty down in the field. It's going to be encroachment this time. It's going to go against Chattanooga Central. We've seen that one called a couple of times already today. Officials keeping an eye out for it. Here we go. Wandrick Bullard takes the snap after that. A little bit of free yardage, gives it off to the tailback. He goes to the far side following the right tackle, gets maybe a yard or two. Football now down to the 25-yard line of East Hamilton High School. They need to get it down to the 28 to get a first down. There's a flag on that carry. This time it's against East Hamilton High School. They'll move them back. That one is holding. Now trips left for Wandrick Bullard. Bullard on the quarterback keeper, trying to run with the football, barreling up inside. He got about seven yards right there, but... Still a long way to go if they want to convert. Bullard teed up by the big man right there and finished off by Copeland. Kentrell Ringer grabbed a hold of him. Copeland pulled him down. Four out wide, two on either side here. Wandrick Bullard turns a half circle, check down pass to the far side on the screen. And that's a gain of about six yards right there. It's going to leave him needing maybe two to convert. Short yardage situation here in quarter three. We're all tied up still. It's 10 to 10 between Chattanooga Central High School, the Pounders, and the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. We do have a player slow to rise here. Hopefully he's all right. Well, they're going to take a moment and check on him. It is 10 to 10 here between Chattanooga Central and East Hamilton High School. Thanks for being with me for tonight's contest. Let's take a look quickly at the scores around the area and see how things are going in other prominent contests here tonight. At the half, Ringold leading Bremen 14-7. Ferriton leading Bradley Central at the end of quarter number three, 14-7 in that one. South Pittsburgh up 34-0 over Chattanooga Prep. They're still in the first quarter. Baylor School has closed the gap a bit between themselves and Macaulay. It's 14-10 with two minutes left to go in quarter two, and that's the one you can watch on Friday Night Rivals tonight, Chris Goforth on the call. Cleveland leading Merrillville in quarter three, 21 to 14, and South Pittsburgh obviously up big.
So the Hurricane offense back onto the field here. Short yardage situation. They need one yard to convert. Headed to the far side. Oh, and trapped in the backfield and dropped. That is a big-time defensive play there by Chattanooga Central to force East Hamilton to punt that one back to the Pounders. It was third down and maybe a yard to go. Juan Bullard tried to follow the, the right side of his offensive line, the receivers, and had no space to work with. Now Ethan Hickson will punt this one away. This one is lost. Football on the ground. Both teams diving for it. Return man couldn't hook that one in. It's loose on the turf. Looks like East Hamilton got the football back, and they did. Well, that's one way to move the football up the field. <laughs> East Hamilton maintains possession, and they get about 50 yards on the play. Their offense will come right back out. Now the football will be at the 30-yard line of Chattanooga Central. They're on the far hash mark, driving right to left on your radio dial. And again, they're all tied up at 10. It's 10 all here inside of the scenic city. Four out wide. Man in the shotgun is Wondrick Bullard. Tail back at his side. Bullard on the keeper. Boy, right up inside. Lots of space. One man to beat. He's got him. He's gone. Free to the end zone for the touchdown for East Hamilton High School. 16 to 10 now and no flags. Sixteen to ten here in quarter three. Here comes the point after try. Snap and hold are good. And the whistle before this one can be sent away. Chattanooga Central jumped off sides trying to block that one. Hickson can go ahead and line up and try that one again. Snap is good. Hold is good. This one up, away, and it'll go through. It's 16 to 10. East Hamilton High School leading the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more high school football in just a moment. It is 17 to 10, a hurricane of East Hamilton lead over the Pounders of Chattanooga Central here. Thanks for being with us. Gabriel Shry bringing you tonight's contest. I appreciate you joining me wherever you may be. East Hamilton about to kick this one back to the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. They'll get another chance to work with this one offensively. Ethan Hickson on. He is the place kicker for East Hamilton High School. This one sent away from right to left on your radio dial, and that one will sail over the back of the end zone and into the woods beyond the field. Hickson goes to the touchback right here. So here comes the offense of the Purple Pounders of Chattanooga Central trailing by just seven.
here on their home field in quarter three. They're looking to flip the script with a good drive. Ronye Watson in the shotgun here. He's got three out wide, two on the far side, one on the close side. Fakes the give. There's a bomb right over the middle. This one incomplete. I think his receiver might have run the wrong route. That was a good-looking ball. Now it'll be second and 10. Trying to go right up inside with it right there. Watson gets a gain of maybe three yards. That'll make it third and medium for Chattanooga Central. Football right in between the, the hash marks here. It's in nearly the exact center of the field. And Chattanooga Central will need about seven yards to keep this drive rolling. This time, two receivers on the close side. Armour Jr. alongside the signal caller, Watson. Watson fakes the give. Boy, he's got a seam. Comes to the close side. Stopped at the 30. Had one man to beat, and he would have been free. Gathered up by the Hurricane defender right there. But as you can hear, that does move the chains. They stopped him at the 31. He needed to gain the 30. Lots of speed there with Ronye Watson. He's fun to watch play football. Three out wide again. This time, two on the far side for Watson. Armour Jr. takes the give. Trucking his way up inside and not going to get a lot there. Maybe a gain of two yards. 17 to 10 here in quarter three. Hurricanes of East Hamilton leading over Chattanooga Central. Founders trying again on second and long. Same formation as first down. Two on the far side. Here's the give. Armour Jr. Woo, pushes his way through the outside linebacker. Now a swarm of hurricanes grab him and pull him down forward progress will give him three yards that'll make it third and five for chat central and that's something they can work with they're on the far hash mark now football down to the 36 yard line of their own side of the field Two out wide on the close side, one on the far side. Watson fakes the give, and the whistle will sound before he can take off. And somebody up front, one of them big boys, jumped for Chattanooga Central, so they'll march him back. They're going to have to run that play again here on third down. Instead of needing to gain five yards, they'll need to gain just about ten exactly. And that hurts. You run a couple of great plays. You put yourself in a position to get a drive rolling, and then it stalls out with a penalty. And we've seen that a lot today. I've mentioned it a few times, but I really think it's played a big impact on how low scoring this contest has been. Ronye Watson now on third and 10. Here's the screen. This one is incomplete, nearly intercepted. Hurricane defender got back there, tipped that one to the turf. That'll make it fourth and 10, and here comes the punt team of Chattanooga Central. Punter back deep here for the Pounders. Donovan Smith will take this snap. Snap is good. This one's sent away. Big high punt and not a whole lot of room bought for Chattanooga Centrals. We'll see the offense of the Hurricanes now. Taking a quick look around at some of the other scores in the area. 29-0, Udawa leading Howard at the half. Marion County up 35-14 over Teleco Plains. Merrillville leading Cleveland 24-21. 
in the fourth quarter of action. And here in our contest, East Hamilton up 17-10. to 10. Here comes Juan Bullard in the offense. Give right up inside. Lots of room for the tailback. Oh, bouncing off of a defender. He's free along the far sideline. The 30, the 20, and gone. Touchdown, East Hamilton High School. I'm looking for some flags back near the line of scrimmage here. The officials are convened, but I don't see any flags on the field. Looks like they're going to call for a penalty. Indeed, that one against East Hamilton High School, there's a penalty against Chattanooga Central as well, so we're going to replay that down, and that'll wipe that long rushing touchdown off of the board. Would have been a 52-yard rushing score right there. Pounders getting a quick change, sending in a big man. Kenley Bacon up front. The officials are still trying to sort out what's going on. They're talking to Grant Reynolds over on the far side. They look like they might want to move the football from its spot, but it's in the original spot still. It would be first and 10 from the 48-yard line of the hurricane side of the field. Again, 52 yards from the end zone if they leave it. As it stands, it's 17 to 10. The officials still haven't sorted this one through. Now they're satisfied, and football will stay where it is on the 48. We'll get back underway. Four out wide for Wondrick Bullard. That's two on either side. They're on the far hash mark. Moving right to left on your radio dial. There's the give. It's the same play to the same tailback. Nothing doing there as he is able to drag the pile forward. For a good gain there on the final play of the third quarter. It'll be second and about six here when quarter number four begins. It's 17 to 10 right now. The lead with the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School. We'll take a break. Be right back with the fourth quarter of action. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here. Quarter number four about to get underway. 17 to 10 between the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School and Chattanooga Central. Flipping sides of the field. Hurricanes need to gain about five to convert here. From the close hash mark, working from left to right on your radio dial, four out wide, two on either side. Snap is good. Bullard on the keeper tries to follow the right guard up in there. He did get about a yard, takes a shot to his side, and goes down right near the 45-yard line. He'll be just shy of it. Needs to gain about three to convert.
Third down, very doable. Trips left. Wandrick Bullard in the shotgun, tailback alongside him here. Michael Hinton, the ball carrier alongside him. Here's the snap. Hinton's going to take it. Following the center and left guard, boy, I don't think he had enough forward progress. Close side officials got him at the 42. Far side officials got him at the 42. That is right at the line to gain. That is very close. Michael Hinton pushing it up in there with some power. We'll see if they even bother to measure this one based on the spot. No, they won't. They're going to wave that on. That'll be a first and 10 for East Hamilton High School. Football now down to the 42-yard line. Their lead currently 17-10. to 10. We're up wide, two on either side for Wandrick Bullard. First and 10, close hash mark. Driving left to right, Rawls in motion. There's the give again to Hinton. Hinton makes one move. Pushes his way over the 40 and is able to get a gain of about four yards right there. He came to the close sideline. Two defenders got in his face. He pushed his way through one and was dragged down. East Hamilton High School needs to gain about six more yards here to convert the football now down to the 38-yard line of Chattanooga Central. Trips left. For East Hamilton, Michael Hinton alongside Wandrick Bullard. One man on the close side for Bullard. Juan Bullard running through his cadence. There's the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Boy, had just a little seam and turned that into some extra yardage. Picked up about four. He's just shy of moving the chains here. Two to gain. Third and short, and two out wide on either side. Hinton and Bullard looking to the sideline. Small adjustment coming here. Both receivers change their stance where they're lined up. Bullard gives it off. Trouble in the backfield. Whoa, a trio of Chattanooga Central defenders. Reaching the Hurricanes man right there, led by Tyron Forte. He goes down to the grass, and East Hamilton's going to have to punt this one. They're holding that one score lead, 17-10. to 10. Punt sent away. Rolling down inside of the 10 to the 5. Looks like this one will be down just prior to being on the 5-yard line at the 6. So that's where Chattanooga Central will take over. If they want to tie this ball game here in the early stages of quarter 3, they'll need to drive just about 95 yards. We're out wide, two on either side. Here's the snap. Give close side and not a whole lot doing for Chattanooga Central right there on first down. The defensive end and tackle able to slip off their blocks. Grab up the tailback right on the edge. That'll make it second and long. They might have lost a couple of yards there as well. Indeed, they did. Two-yard loss for Chattanooga Central to start this drive. They'll be pushed back to their own four-yard line now. Four out wide, two on either side. Watson fires a laser over the middle. This is incomplete. Intended for the hands of Carter Daniel right there. He cut across the junior, running a little slant route, just couldn't connect. Third and long for Chattanooga Central. Trailing by one touchdown here. 
Same formation on third down. Watson, boy, high snap. He's able to hook that in. Throws another slant. This one incomplete as well. Just couldn't connect. Fourth down now here for Chattanooga Central. The punt team will come on. Leading the way, Donovan Smith, the senior punter. Snap is good. Hunter able to get this one away. Good looking punt. One of the best of the day for Smith right there. Gathered up by the hurricane return man on the 35. He's across the 45. The midfield stripe, the opposing 40, and at a play right near the 35-yard line of Chattanooga Central. So that's a pretty good return as well right there. Buying an extra 30 yards for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School and in clutch time here as they lead by just one score. Taking a quick look around at some of the other scores. Again, our score here in this contest is 17 to 10. The lead resting with the Hurricanes of East Hamilton High School over Chattanooga Central. Ringold leading Bremen 21 to 7 in quarter three. Dade County trailing 26 to 7. North Murray up 49 0 over Murray County. And Udua again at the half was up 29 0 over Howard. Here comes the offense of the Hurricanes back onto the field. Trips left for Wandrick Bullard this time. And right away, the whistle before he can even run this play. So that one will be a false start against East Hamilton High School. The moving back five yards. Throwing the close hash mark here. Football spotted at the 38-yard line. They're moving left to right on your radio dial and trying to just get out of here with a one-score win. This could be the put-away drive if they were to drive in another right now. 17-10. to 10. Partway through quarter four. Wandrick Bullard headed to the far side. Ooh, met by a flurry of defenders there. Four pounders meet him in the backfield and drop him for a loss. So it's gone quickly from first and 10 to first and 15. And now it's second and about 20, maybe 19 to convert this one. Four out wide here for the Hurricanes of East Hamilton. The football from the far hash mark now. Two receivers on either side. Bullard is going to go ahead and throw it. He's feeling the pressure. Running towards the far sideline. Has some space and forced out after a short gain there. He maybe got three yards. East Hamilton High School needs maybe 13, 14 yards here if they want to convert. Create a first down for themselves. Again, they lead by seven, 17 to 10. Four out wide again, two on either side. This time they're bunched up much closer to the box. And before they even run this play, Juan Bullard fools one of the defensive linemen into encroaching. Flag comes out from the close sideline right away. That's a free five yards. It won't buy them everything they need, but East Hamilton obviously happy to get some back. Chattanooga Central knows they need a stop right here. Pounders really need the football. Same formation, trying it again. Wondrick Bower this time the screen, and it looks like it may have worked. 
receiver slips between a couple of blockers and he'll move the chains. Devin Harrelson jumping for joy after converting there a pickup of about nine yards. He needed about seven. First and 10 East Hamilton High School threatening on the edge of the red zone now. Trips right for Weinrich Bullard, one man on the far side. Tailback alongside Bullard. Bullard looking both ways before running through his cadence. Pressure is coming. He gives it off. Tailback somehow evades three defenders but stopped at the line of scrimmage. Good carry by Mike Hinton. Three defenders slid off the back of Mike Hinton right there. Coming up inside, making the big play. Ringer and Stewart able to hit him and drop him. Play call coming into Wandrick Bullard. He's going to have trips right on this one. Second and a little longer than 10, maybe 11. One man on the far side, hitting the long side board. Pressure's coming again. Two defenders in the backfield right away, and he's dragged down. He went to the left side, the far side of the field from us here, followed the left tackle, had a couple of yards to work with, and he took him. He got a gain of two, maybe three yards there. That'll keep the clock rolling for East Hamilton High School, who's leading 17-10. to 10. Trips right this time, Wondrick Bullard in the shotgun. Hmm. Hurricanes man running through his cadence. Juan wants to run with the football, escapes one defender, and now driven out of play along the far sideline here. That'll stop the clock. Hurricanes coming back onto the field here. They're on the far hash mark, driving left to right on your radio dial. It is fourth down. I know the public address announcer just said third down. It's definitely fourth down. So Ethan Hickson and the field goal unit come on to the field. Snap is good. Hold is good. Hickson boots this one. It's sailing up away, and this one will go through. So the Hurricanes now lead 20 to 10 here in the scenic city over Chattanooga Central. We're going to take a break and be right back with more high school football. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back here to Chattanooga Central High School, where the score now is 20 to 10 in favor of East Hamilton High School's Hurricanes. They're going to be booting this football back here to Chattanooga Central late in quarter four. A couple of other scores in the area. Sweetwater leading Signal Mountain 28 to 12. Red Bank up over Hickson in quarter four. They lead 21 to seven. York Institute leading Wartburg Central 34 to six in quarter four. And Cleveland has overcome Merrillville 28 to 24. Bradley Centron falls to Baird here tonight 21 to seven. 
in quarter three. It's 20 to 17. McCauley leading Baylor. A timeout down on the field here before our kickoff between East Hamilton and Chattanooga Central. Pounders didn't like something they saw. Called for that one. Now they're back onto the field. And again, Pounders need to score on this next drive and they need to do it quickly. They trail 20 to 10 here in quarter four. Now they're set for the kickoff. This one will go from left to right on your radio dial. Founders return man. Grabs this at the 30. Cutting across the 35. Coming towards us here and dragged down as he crosses over the 40. They'll mark him all the way up at the 43, 42 yard line. Right in the center of the field, it'll be first and 10, Chattanooga Central Pounders. Pounders looking to get this one started here. We're out wide, two on either side. There's a connection on the slant over the middle, and their man runs the spin move down to the opposite 40-yard line. An 18-yard gain on first and 10. Pounders running the hurry up. Gorgeous play made right there by Larry Henderson, the senior. He got a hold of the football, made one man miss, ran the spin move before he was dragged down. He's in the slot on the close side here, still four out wide, two on either side. Ronye Watson. Takes the snap. There's a laser along the far sideline, and the pass is dropped. It'll be second and 10 from the 39 of East Hamilton High School. Chattanooga Central with a great play to open this drive offensively. They trail 20 to 10 here, a 10 point deficit for the Pounders. Hurricanes were able to punch one in. I'll, I'll recap all the scoring of the day at the end of the game, but 30 yard rushing touchdown by Juan Bullard. And he's just been electric this season. Ethan Hickson just put some icing on the cake with a 32-yard field goal. Snap is fumbled. Watson picks it up. Oh, he's in trouble. Pressure coming. Three defenders back there calling for a receiver to come back and grab this one. It's just thrown away. That's an incomplete pass. It'll make it third and ten here. Chattanooga Central. Head coach Kurt Jones shouting out to his quarterback. I'll tell you what, what a couple of great coaches. I really like both Grant Reynolds and Kurt Jones. Great guys, great examples to their communities and what a head coach of a football program should be like. Trips left here for Ronye Watson. He throws a little laser to the left side and through the hands of Devin Harrelson. Boy, I think he thought he had that. That would have been ball game for the Pounders and East Hamilton High School. It's now fourth and ten for Chattanooga Central, and it's do or die time. Kurt Jones calling in, dialing up for an offensive play here. Football on the 39-yard line of the Hurricanes. That's 39 yards from the end zone for the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. They're driving right to left on your radio dial. They trail by 10. Trips left for Ronye Watson, one on the far side. He takes the snap, drops back behind the midfield stripe, wants to throw three defenders right there, trying to stay alive, and he is forced out of play. That'll be a turnover on downs as the Hurricanes will get the football back. There was a flag on the back end of that play, as you can hear. They will turn that down. East Hamilton offense will come back to the field and just look to dry up the clock here inside of the scenic city. Juan Bullard, once again, putting on a show here today. He has been electric, fun to watch. He's had a fantastic season. Can't say enough great things about him and this East Hamilton Hurricane football program. 
as that offense will come back to the field here. From the close hash mark, they're driving from left to right on your radio dial. Four out wide, two on either side. You're on first and ten. Juan Bullard in the shotgun. He's got an up back. Rawls in motion. Now standing alongside Bullard. Bullard on the option will elect to keep the football. Pushes his way up in there for a gain of a yard. Second and about 10 now for East Hamilton High School. Again, they lead by 10. Four out wide, football from their own 44-yard line. Over it in the shotgun. There's the snap. He'll keep it. Oh, between the center and the guard. He's free across the midfield stripe. The 40, the 30, 20, gone to the end zone for another hurricane touchdown. A 56-yard rushing touchdown for Wandrick Bullard. That makes it 26 to 10 here at Chattanooga Central. There is an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the field, but it will not affect the score. They'll let it stand. It'll be assessed following the point after try. Not sure what was said or done. Hickson on to attempt the PAT. Here it comes. Snap is good. Hold is good. This kick is up, away, and through. That makes it 27 to 10 here between Chattanooga Central. And East Hamilton High School, we have entered the final stages of this contest. We'll take a break. Be right back with more high school football. Don't go anywhere. Losing all my focus, I can't even control it. You know you're the golden baby, get me high, touching me like lightning, keeping it exciting. You know exactly what to do to blow my mind. Welcome back here to Chattanooga Central High School. It is the Hurricanes and the Pounders. 27 to 10 is the tally as Chattanooga Central trailing by 17 to East Hamilton. Wondrick Bullard just scored a 56 yard rushing touchdown. Kane's just trying to walk out of here with a win, burn some clock. Taking a look around the area, Kingston leading 14 to 10 over McMinn Central. During the fourth quarter, Ringold up 28-7 over Bremen in quarter three. Walker Valley up 18-14 over Ray County at the end of quarter three. McCallie football leading the Baylor School 20 to 10 at the halftime break. As Hickson will boot this one. Back to the return man of Chattanooga Central. He'll take it up to the 42-yard line here. Marion County up 55-14 over Teleco Plains. Lookout Valley up over Copper Basin 36-14. Sweetwater up over Signal Mountain 28-12. Here comes the offense of the Pounders. They're going to be working from right to left on your radio dial. Oh, football is loose on the turf. East Hamilton High School looks like they got that one back right there. Diving into the backfield. The big man falls on it. Manny Zargoza 
coming up with a turnover, so the Hurricane offense will return back to the field here. So after a slow first half of play, it's been all Hurricanes here in half number two. They've been electric going down the stretch here in quarter four. Trips left for the Canes. Trouble with a substitute here. He's going to head back off the field. Wandrick Bullard in the shotgun. There's the give to Hinton. Hinton follows the left tackle and gets a gain of about three yards before he's dropped. That'll bring up second down. Football down to the 34-yard line of Chattanooga Central. It's on the far hash mark. The Canes working left to right. And again, they're leading 27-10 to 10 with the football. Burning clock here in quarter four. We're out wide, two on either side for Wondrick Bullard. He looks to the sideline. Hitting alongside him. Snaps a bit high. There's the give to Hinton. He runs the spin move, trying to push his way up in there, all the way down to just around the 31-yard line. Nearly made it to the 30. Hurricanes will still need to gain a couple of yards right here. Perry Armour Jr. and Houston Boykin making the tackle on that last carry. Two on either side for Wandrick Bullard. He's in the shotgun, has an up back up in front of him. He'll take it right up inside of the gut there between the two guards following the center, able to drive forward for another two-yard gain. Football is now down to the 29. It's fourth and short. East Hamilton's offense staying out there, burning clock, looking to Put it away right here. And before they can Run the play, a timeout taken down on the field by East Hamilton High School. Wanting to get together and talk this over. Before putting this one back into play. Both programs huddled up on the respective sideline. It's 27 to 10 here in our contest right now. Thanks for being with me. I'm Gabriel Shry, bringing you the action. I'm not sending you to break. I'm just giving you the scores around the area here. Ringold still up over Bremen, 28-7. Walker Valley up over Ray County, 25-14. Sweetwater up over Signal Mountain, 28-18. Red Bank up over Hickson, 27-7. And again in our game, 27-10. East Hamilton, Hurricane Lee. Kane's offense back onto the field here. Bullard with the keeper trying to put it up in there and convert on fourth down. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Couldn't push forward for any gain. That'll make it first and 10. Chattanooga Central as they trail by 17 here in quarter four.
Pounder offense will be working from right to left on your radio dial on this drive. They're starting on the far hash mark. Four out wide, two on either side. For the quarterback here. This one slung over the middle and caught. Boy, big first down right there. First and 10 for Chattanooga Central. Timeout taken by Chattanooga Central right away after the big throw and catch. Ronye Watson going over to Larry Henderson. The senior grabbed the hold of that one. We'll keep it right here, but I am going to take a break. High school football. It's 27 to 10 here in the scenic city. Thank you for being with us. Hurricanes are leading the Pounders of Chattanooga Central. And both teams back onto the field. Chattanooga Central looking to put something together here late. Here's the snap. In trouble. Back deep. Quarterback rolling to the close side. And he can't get away. He is dragged down and sacked. Caden Jones can't pull it off. So that'll do it. Our final score here. 27 to 10 between the Hurricanes and the Pounders. They're going to get a final handshake in. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back with a recap of scoring and a look at what's coming up next. Here, don't go anywhere. Final handshakes underway. Let's go ahead and recap our scoring here today and talk about what's coming up next for these two programs. Taking a look around the area, Sweetwater leading Signal Mountain 28-25. Whitwell up 30-0 over Sale Creek in quarter four. McCauley and Baylor, 27-17. McCauley leading that one. That's pretty much it. Everything else I've already brought you here. North Murray is up 49-0 over Murray County. Ringled up over Bremen. 28-7. Walker Valley up in quarter four. 25-14 over Ray County. We're all up to date. Our final score again here in this one, 27-10. Big hurricane win. Let's take a look back at how that unfolded. First, Wandering Bullard opened the scoring early in quarter number one. Great field position for the Hurricanes. They punched it in. They took over on the 28-yard line, a 22-yard rushing score for the senior signal caller. That made it 7-0. Then an 80-yard drive, and Ranye Watson punched it in from short range at the end of that to camp it with a score that made it 7-7. Then a big INT, and nothing was able to be done with that, but it set up a field goal drive, which made it 10-7, the advantage with Chattanooga Central, but it didn't take long. Ethan Hickson and the Hurricanes to tie it up 10 to 10. That's how we went into the halftime break, but sure enough, we came out and it was all Hurricanes. A 30 yard rushing touchdown for Wandrick Boward broke it open in quarter three. That made it 17 to 10. Ethan Hickson chipped in a 32 yard field goal and then a 56 yard rushing score by Wandrick Boward put us to our final score of 27 to 10, and that's where we're going to end tonight's contest. Before I let you go, I'll tell you where these two programs are. Are playing next. Of course, I'll be able to bring you next week's action as well. East Hamilton staying on the road. They will play Saudi Daisy in district play. They have risen to 3-0 and in district. They are 4-2 and overall on the season. Following that, East Hamilton will have a three-game home stint. Friendship Christian, Red Bank, and Hickson. 
For the Pounders of Chattanooga Central, they fall. They are now 2-2 two and two in district play and 3-4 and four overall. Three games left on the season for the Pounders. They stay at home next week. They host Sequoia. I'm guessing they're going to win that one. That'll be nice for the record. Then Eastridge, which also seems like a W. And finally, they'll come back home after traveling to battle Eastridge and face off against Liberty Creek to close the season on October 28th. Pretty good stuff. We'll have more East Hamilton High School football next week right here. Be sure you catch it. Thank you.